Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to stop a OneDrive synchronization on your computer and get your files back to the correct folders. So we did a video on this a little while ago, um, but Microsoft added a new feature when you stop your backup that we're going to show you since it's a nice addition to the uh, OneDrive application when you're trying to get rid of it. So as you probably know or may not know, uh, Microsoft will try and enable OneDrive and sync your files to the cloud without you even knowing or giving authorization to do so. So if you don't know that this is happening, you probably have all your files up in the cloud. All right, and it usually does this for your desktop documents and pictures, and you can have it do your music and videos folder as well. All right, so we have File Explorer open here, and you can see we have OneDrive up here with Todd, personal folder, and then the folders that are in OneDrive that pretty much match what we have here. On the website and if I go to documents for example same files so this photos here is not necessarily the same as pictures so keep that in mind so that's what we're going to be dealing with pictures folder not the photos uh, shortcut here all right so if I were to right click documents go to properties you can see it's under C colon backslash users Todd as OneDrive instead of c colon backslash users taught as documents that's where it's supposed to be and if we go to that documents folder the real one c drive users taught as documents you can see there's nothing in there so that's where everything is supposed to be if you're not using onedrive and the goal is to get everything back into this folder and out of the onedrive folder and then for pictures you can see it's the same thing. And here's the real pictures folder. Just as the default Windows folders in there. All right, so this process is not going to be exactly the same for everyone, uh, depending on how you have your OneDrive configured. If you move stuff around, unsynced it, resynced it, so your results may vary. But we're going to kind of give you an idea of what to look for to get things fixed. All right, so what we want to do is go down to the OneDrive icon here in the system tray. Click on that. Click on the gear icon. Go to settings and click on manage backup. All right, so you can see we have our documents, pictures, and desktop backed up, even though there's nothing on the desktop, as you can see here. All right, so if we want to disable the synchronization for documents, we simply turn this off. And now we have an option here to continue, which we don't want. And then we have stop backup and choose where to keep files. So the option here is only in OneDrive. So files will be moved from your computer to OneDrive. And then the documents folder on the PC will not have them. So that's obviously not what we want because we want our files local only. And then if we click on this option here, we have only my PC. And then files will be in the documents folder on the PC and not in OneDrive. Online only files cannot be moved. You'll have to download them first if you have any that are online only. So this is a new option here uh, when it comes to managing your backups. And this wasn't available on the last video we did. All right, so we'll click on continue here. All right, some files couldn't be moved and are still in your OneDrive folder. These are online only files. Right click and select always keep on this device before moving them outside of OneDrive. So if we open this and we have these files here, which is saying are online only files. So a couple ways to do this. If you want them completely out of OneDrive, you could do it two ways. You could go to each one, right click, choose always keep on this device to take it out of OneDrive. But you'll have to do that manually for everything and that could be a big pain. Or you could just simply move them out of OneDrive into the right place and leave them in the cloud on OneDrive or go back here and then just delete them all at once from here, which is probably the best way to do it. Okay, so let me open another tab here. Go to the real documents folder. All right, so you can see there's nothing there. So we're going to control A and then control X to cut, or you could copy and paste and then delete later if you're worried that your move process might get interrupted. Go back over here, control V. 
right, this might take a couple minutes, so I'll have to pause the video if that's the case. All right, so now we're in the real documents folder. And then the OneDrive folder is empty, so let's do it for the next one now. Stop backup, only on my PC, continue. And the same thing applies here. All right, so let's open up a new tab here and go to the Real Pictures folder, this PC. So we got the right path here, C colon backslash users, username slash pictures. So now we'll select all here, control X to cut, paste them here. This might take a couple minutes as well. Okay, so now we have all of our pictures over here. And we could do it for desktop as well. All right, so all the backup is turned off. So for the next step, what we want to do, go back in the settings here. Go to account and then unlink this PC so your computer is not trying to sync with uh, OneDrive any longer. So once you have it unlinked, then if you want to go into your OneDrive website here and delete anything that's left over, in my case, looks like it cleared it out for me once I removed everything. So as you can see, even though I didn't go to each file and right-click it and choose the option to keep only on this device, once I disconnected my account from OneDrive here, it cleared out the uh, pictures and documents on its own. So that's something you need to look out for. So make sure you have everything on your computer before you disconnect your account. And then also make sure you're not syncing if you do come into here and delete something from the website because if it's syncing and you're not realizing that it's still syncing, um, it might delete it from your hard drive as well. So you can see here, it's not signed in. That's what we want. And then another thing you could do too, if you right click the taskbar, go to Task Manager, go to Startup Apps, go to OneDrive, right click, disable it, and that way it won't start up with your computer to kind of give you a a little more assurance that it's not going to start syncing on its own. Then you come here, right click on it, and quit it if you want as well. And now you can see the OneDrive option up here is gone uh, once we disconnected the account from the computer. So now we have our regular documents. We right click, go to properties. You can see it's in the right place. Same with our pictures. And same with our desktop. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. I know it's a lot of back and forth, and it can be confusing. So once again, just go to OneDrive settings, go to the Manage Backup, stop the backup, choose the option to keep the files on your computer, I'll move them into the right location, which I said you could do by going to this PC. C drive, users, your username, yours is not going to say Todd S, obviously. And then move them into the appropriate folder here, documents, pictures, and desktop. Out of the OneDrive folder, which you can see is still here. It's kind of left over, but there's nothing in it. So you can technically delete this if you wanted to. You can see now that I clicked on it. It wants me to sign back into OneDrive. So it's always watching you, I guess, trying to get you to start it up again. All right, and then once you have everything moved to the correct folder, go disconnect your account or unlink your account. And then you could go into Task Manager, stop it from starting up, and you could see now that I clicked on the OneDrive folder, it actually started it up again. And I'll have to quit it one more time. So just by clicking on this folder, we'll start OneDrive. 
So you might not even want to click on that. Okay, so there is the overall process. But like I said, it may not be exact for you depending on how your computer is configured, but you should be able to uh, figure it out uh, based on what I showed you here. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.